Gavis Drin. He's the head priest over at the temple, a powerful man, and has the ear of Almalexia. Helseth, the king. I imagine you'd find him in the royal palace. That's where kings usually are. How about Baron Zaya? A fine woman. We're lucky to have her back in Mournhold. I know that a lot has been written about her, but don't believe everything you've read. That woman's beauty is only equaled by her grace and wisdom. Shame she didn't pass that on to her son! Yo! Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Morrowind Mondays. We are here, back at Indaris Manor, Bal Isra, where... Oh my god, it's finally happened. Well, not entirely, but for the most part, I have cleaned up this room and fixed up a whole lot of the location, as I said I would. Finally got around to doing it. Stowed away a whole bunch of stuff, moved stuff around, got a whole bunch of just weapons and stuff inside of here, like legendary weapons, mythical weapons, all that sort of stuff. I forget the... I think I think there are a lot of those are like non-canonical classifications, especially in Morrowind. I think I think beyond then they become they be it becomes more canonical as to what their classification is. The the museum that we'll encounter in Tribunal, which by the way, hey, we're starting today. Well, I think in some ways canonize some of like the specific I don't know level of mythos within an item. Anyway. All that aside, I went and decorated all this stuff, sort of back to how I had it a while back, like when I first set all these things up, and I kind of added a little bit of money to them and all that, that, you know, spread the wealth around. Hey, when the train comes into town, everybody rides. Let's see, in here, this is just like a place for folks to drink and, like, check out some, some herb, I guess. <laughs> I wasn't sure what I was doing with this. I was like, hey, this looks cool. This looks like some sort of al alchemy stuff. Maybe they're doing some, like, alchemical trading. Maybe, you know what? They're just sampling it, doing some wart craft. Wart, wart, wart. And then over here, of course, people are enjoying a wonderful banquet of Ashiam. I like the idea that everyone out in the Ashland areas just eats Ashiams as, like, the main thing. Sure, throw in some, like, crab meat, rat meat, big old quam egg. But the Ashiam, oh my god. In here, still a bit more dumpy. Right? Been kind of moving stuff around. St slowly stowing stuff away. Put more legendary stuff inside of, or mythic, I, I don't know, fucking know, artifacts. Put some cool, cool stuff in these chests back here. <laughs> Moved it to some of the other buildings and all that. Sold stuff off. And let's see, over here was doing some book or organization. That way we would have stuff to read when we go to Tribunal. So we don't have too many t periods where we have to make trips back. Picked up some of our potions that we had crafted here, and we have quite a few, as you can see. If need be, we'll come back and grab some or whip up some more. And in here, filled all these with more incredibly valuable ancient weapons. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, no, you know, like proper display cases. I don't know. I just didn't like the idea of having the weapons all out on the table, right? Uh, uh, I don't know. I, li I like it looking more like it's lived in, right? Like, hey, all these people come in here after a hard day and just kind of hang the fuck out, right? I'm kind of into that. All right. But anyway, before we head over to Tribunal, we have one little brief thing to do, and that is to pick up a book. Because I have with us the entirety of the... Char Witch... If there is anything I can do, I am humbly Let's see. your service. Let's see here. Yeah, the Charwitch Coninge. Coninge? I don't know. But we are missing Volume 3, and we must pick it up over at Hla Ode. Let's see, all the way down fucking there. Fuck me. Here, maybe we will take an Alm Seavey. There we are. I forget, does Alm Seavey and Divine Intervention actually work in Mournhold? I don't remember if that was on, like, the Outlawed... Spells list. Or, or not outlawed, but just unable to work spells list. I know that levitate totally does not work there. I don't think jump works either. I think... Well, does jump work there? Maybe jump wor works in Mournhold. I don't know. But levitate definitely does not. Perhaps the same is true of 
Because what if you use down CV intervention, wouldn't that take you to Why the main temple? You can run. I don't know. All right, let us head on over to. Ooh, let's go to Balmora, right? And then we'll jump the rest of the way. We'll jump on over to Laod. And we have to rob some poor fucking dude's house. Let's see. Laod, Murdius Flaeus' house. Eh, who knows? For all we know, the dude is like... <laughs> doing like... Slave trafficking. <laughs> so, if that's the case, fuck him! Alright. Let's see. Head on up and over here. Yep. Up through the wonderful fog. Gosh, it is exciting to finally be starting Tribunal. Good lord. It's been so long since I've done any of it. A lot of my memories of Tribunal involve sort of starting it at per with perhaps a character that was not yet prepared for it. <laughs> and just having all of my weapons and shit break immensely, which is also why I've brought a fair few bit of uh, repair equipment, right? Just in case we need it. I don't know. I, th I think we'll be fine, right? I think we should be fine. However, also, we will be taking a substantial hit to our character in the form of giving up all of our, like, wild-ass equipment that counts for the museum. Because I do actually want to keep it there rather than stealing it back, which is totally an option, but I like the idea of sort of challenging ourselves with that. I mean, worst case, we steal it back, right? Worst case scenario. But we should be fine. We should be good. Let's see. Oh god, where is Hla Ode? Am I like tripping balls? Okay, yeah. Hla Ode is right over here. There we are. There we are, yeah. Good, good, good. Let's see. Pop on down this way. And let's see. Merdius Flaeus' house. Okay, fat legs drop off. No, no, no. Over this area. Charcool. No. No, not you. Okay. Oops. Jump on up over this. There you are. Or er, Marudius. Oh shit, he's in here right next to it. Alright. Let's see, do you have anything to say? Background? You're just a pauper. Okay, fair enough. Let's see, we're going to have to go super stealth mode. Let's see, Amulet of Shadows, enter stealth. Boom. Cross our fingers. Oh god, am I successfully evading him? Let's do a quick save, just in case. There we are. I think I did it! Hey! Alright, he's got a nice big basket of egg. Let's see, do you have anything else good here that I might want to take? No, not really. No. Okay. Big sacks full of... nothing much. Alright, let's get on out. Now, let us head over to... I think Ebenhart, right? Let's see. We need... Dark Brotherhood attacks. Man, it has been forever since we got attacked by one of those assholes. Let's see. Let's get a refresher, I guess. An attempt was made on my life as I tried to rest. I do not know who wishes me dead, but the attack should probably be reported to a guard. One of the assassins had an odd dart on his body, the look of which I've never seen before. A guard has told me that... My attackers were likely members of the Dark Brotherhood, and that I have been targeted for assassination. He suggests I speak with Apelles Matthias in Ebenhart for more information. Fuck, don't we need the dart? Yeah, I think we do. Oh, shit. Let's recall back and get that fucking dart. There we are. And let's see. I said it. Yeah, carved ebony dart. Awesome. Okay. Great. Now we should um CV out. Let's do another quick save just in case. <laughs> All right. Good. Head over to Aldrun and we'll. Ooh, what's our best route? We could take the guild guide over to Vivek and then jump over to Abenhart. Right? Yeah, I think that's the best best course of action. Guild guide, Vivek, from the foreign quarter, jump over to Abenhart. Good shit. All right, let's go on over here and take me to Vivek, please. Here we are. Great. I also brought with us a few things I know to be sure to be artifacts and that we could fit while still having some spare carry weight. Like, I'm pretty sure Ring of Khajiit 
maybe Ring of the Wind? I don't know. But definitely Ring of Khajiit and Curass of the Savior's Hide are 100% needed for the museum. Right? And then as we... As we get there, we'll just, like, ship more and more shit over here, right? We'll just start to carry over a whole bunch of shit that we need for that museum. There we are. And then... Head on out. Foreign quarter. Good stuff. If I remember, there is a bit of, like, a preamble to you being able to actually get to Mornhold, right? That occurs in Vardenfell before you get to the mainland. There we are. Which sounds, if you've never done this, it's I'm making it sound a lot more magnificent than it really is. I mean, Mornhold itself is magnificent, but you don't actually get to explore around the mainland. You're completely contained within the city of Mornhold. You cannot leave its boundaries. Well, I guess, I don't know, it depends on when you consider its boundaries. Like you, oh fuck! Oh my god, speaking of leaving boundaries! <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> shit, <laughs> couldn't have timed that better, but you can go pretty deep underneath Mornhold, right? Yeah. All right, let's whip this open, and let's take a look. Dark Brotherhood attacks Apelles Matthias. Do I know where Apelles Matthias even is? Probably somewhere in the main building, if I remember correctly. Let's see, I'm purely going off of this from memory of, like, ooh, ten plus years ago. Good lord. Alright. Pop on in here, Grand Council Chambers, and let's look around. Let's see, a palace. No, you ain't a palace. You, you, no, no. A palace? No? Oh shit. Can I ask about a palace, Mattias? No, I cannot. Hmm. Where is a palace, Mattias? Imperial Commission? I don't think so. Let's see. Let's go on up. They didn't really give me any other fucking directions, did they? Let's see. Dark Brotherhood attacks. He suggests I speak with Apelles Matthias in Ebenhart. Okay. Fair enough. Under no, you're not here either, are you? We greet Let's see. You the Duke? Do you have anything to say about Apelles? No. Okay. How about a guard? There we are. Apelles Matthias. I think I saw him walking the battlements. You might check up there. Right, he's on the exterior. I totally remember this now. All right. There we are. Where are you, Apelles Matthias? Ooh, I will find you. I think he walks this bridge. I think he totally just walks along this. There we go. And it's the person who transports you to Mornhold that is inside of the actual castle. Let's see... Apelles Matthias. Yeah, it's this guy in the... the his fancy What's new adamantium armor. A pleasure to meet All right. you. What's this about the Dark Brotherhood? You say you've been attacked by them. The fact you, that you're standing here seems to suggest otherwise. Dark Brotherhood. Perhaps you've been attacked. That's bad business. I don't know who it is. Do you think that's like a... <laughs> is that like an Imperial thing saying that's bad business? <laughs> I don't know who it is that wants you dead. And I don't want to know. Dark Brotherhood activity here on Vardenfell has been almost unheard of, but I know they have a large contingent back on the mainland. On the mainland? Yes, in Mornhold itself, actually. If you're feeling particularly suicidal, you can check it out for yourself. Of course, it's not easy to get there these days. Even though the blight seems to be gone, Mornhold is wary. Of visitors from Vardenfell. There is one way you might get there, though. Speak with Ashien Rain about transport to Mornhold. She might be able to help you out. Great. They wouldn't even do it for the fucking Nerevarine? Come on, man! <laughs> Alright. Especially since, since you know, this DLC... Or... It is, it is technically expansion, right? Technically, but I'm going to... Unfortunately, I am but but a mere mortal. I will call it DLC a lot. <laughs> but um, canonically, this, I believe, is meant to take place after the events of the main quest in this, in, in Koras Morrowind, right? I think so. I think, like, the canonical way you play through this is after it. I, I do believe you can start it before you finish the main quest, right? And you can even finish it. You can start and finish all of the expansions before the main quest, but I think canonically 
you do it afterward, right? Okay, speak with Ashian Rain. Who is that? She's a mage who arrived in Vardenfell the same time I did. Special appointment to Duke, v Duke Dren himself. Nice woman and a powerful mage. You should be able to find her in the Grand Council Chambers, here in Ebonheart. Transport to Mornhold? Well, that's what you'll need if you're so hell-bent on tracking down these Dark Brotherhood assassins you claim have visited you. Alright. Yo, I've got their dagger, or their dart, even. Alright. Grand Council Chambers. And I think she is the one who warps us on over, right? Let's see. I believe these NPCs don't exist beforehand, so you can't have accidentally, like, killed them, right? Let's see. Where are you? There she is. All what right. What can I do for you, friend? You can warp me away. Let's see here. Ashian Rain. I am Ashian Rain. How may I help you, friend? Oh, you can help me very much by transporting me to Mournhold. <laughs> you wish to go to the mainland? That's highly irregular. Is it really? Do people from Vardenfell not frequent the mainland, specifically Mournhold? Is Vardenfell kind of, like, looked down upon as some sort of, like, backwater? I... In, in many ways, I guess it is. But that said, it's also, like, the seat of three of the great houses. So it can't be that, like, poorly regarded, right? I don't... Yeah. Yeah, because if House Redoran, House Lalu, and House Telvani are all set up shop, like, their main headquarters in Vardenfell... I mean, there's Dre's, Inderil, right? Just those two, right? Yeah, the sixth house and Day. Yeah, yeah, the sixth house also set up here. That totally validates it. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's highly irregular. I'm sure you've heard that they've restricted travel to Mournhold. They've been a bit worried about the blight, even though it's been reported that the blight is gone from Vardenfell. They're still worried about possible contamination. What's your reason for wanting to go to the city? I fear I've been marked by the Dark Brotherhood and I wish to investigate. <laughs> what a lot to just lay down on her. <laughs> I'm being hunted, but it was about a year ago or, or three. <laughs> I still remember it though, just as I remember every single fight I've gotten into. None of your business. It was the Dark Brotherhood. They, they want me dead. Oh my, I can see why you'd want to get that cleared up. That's dangerous business. Okay, <laughs> that's dangerous business, though. I can't say I'd be happy to send you off on that sort of fool's errand. If you're sure, though, I suppose I can oblige you. If you need to return to Vardenfell, speak with F. T. in the Royal Palace. Take care, friend. Those people are not to be taken lightly. I'll send you there when we finish speaking. All right, here we go. Dun 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 Tribunal! Oh, here we are. Wow, the load screen was non-existent. Oh, jeez, I thought it would do like a full-on load screen as we enter and exit like expansion areas, but I guess not. Huh, all right. Fair enough. Let's see. Yeah, our world map is going to be pretty fucking useless. Oh, shit. How am I going to remember the setup of the entirety of Mornhold now? If I can't use the fucking world map. <laughs> Alright. Hmm, this will be problematic. Alright, well, you know what? Let's make our first thing that we do in the big city. Stealing. <laughs> Let's see what's inside this sucker. Let's do a quick save. There we are, and have a little picky pick. Let's scroll on up over here, get one of our, let's just use a journeyman's. There we are, great. Oh, what do you, <laughs> some forks and spoons and knives. Amazing. All right, let's take their plants as well. You've gathered one bunch of Timsa come by flowers. All right, and let's see, what is their whole deal? Timsa come by flowers. Dispel, resist paralysis, drain magicka, restore endurance. Pretty awful. Let's see. Two Nerthfly stalks. 
damage health, fortify speed, restore speed, drain speed. Okay. Not too bad. There we are. Gosh, I remember this just blowing me the fuck away when I was a kid. Seeing how sort of immaculate it looked here, even in just this area, and like, Whoa, they got new plants! Oh, God! <laughs> Alright. Hey, what's up, FT? Yes? Do you seek transport to Vardenfell? No, not really. No, I'm, I'm good. Oh, look, we can ask about Almalexia already. Almalexia is one of the gods worshipped by the Dunmer in the Tribunal Temple. She's known as the Healing Mother and Lady of Mercy, the source of compassion and sympathy and protector of the poor and weak. She's no tender-hearted Powder Puff, though. Powder Puff. She's an important symbol of Dunmer independence to those who resent the Empire and the hands of Almalexia. Her personal guard enforce a strict adherence to temple doctrines. All right. Thanks, man. You know a lot. I can't believe we don't have any, like, reason to speak to this dude. Latest rumors? Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's let's load up on some rumors and shit. Ooh, look, King Hlalu Helseth. Now that is a name I definitely remember. I believe... Correct me if I'm wrong. One of the books that later shows up... Doesn't Hlalu Helseth end up being the dude who ultimately rules to outlaw slavery in Morrowind? I think so. Or maybe it's like... Hlalu Helseth the second or third or some shit like that. It's one of the Helseths, I think. All right. The old king, Ethan Lethen, is dead. Long live King Hlalu Helseth. Things are pretty grim here in the City of Light since the troubles with Dagoth Ur. Mornhold is Almalexia's city, and she's become more of a warrior queen than a lady of mercy. And there's always been hostility between the temple and the imperial administration. But since Helsus' accession, the tension between imperial-leaning Dunmer and Almalexia's supporters is much worse. All right. Ethan Lethen. So things in, in Mornhold are kind of politically strained at the moment. All right. The former king was an old man and had been ill for a while. He had no sons or daughters. Elsith is Lethen's great-nephew. Berenziah is Lethen's niece. Queen Berenziah renounced her claim to the throne, so, according to Imperial custom, the crown goes to Prince Elsith. He didn't do much, but we assumed he wasn't supposed to. We thought he was just a convenient fiction, for Imperial Administrative Purposes. Oh, shit. Huh. Alright. Helseth is Lethen's great-nephew. Yeah. So Baron's Eye, of course. Queen Baron's Eye, a big deal in this as well. Well, maybe not as big of a deal. Yeah, she is here, but I don't actually remember her being that big of a deal. Despite how big of a deal she is to, like, the overall... Elder Scrolls lore and all that stuff, right? Or maybe she ultimately isn't. Yeah, maybe she just has a really cool book, right? She's just a really cool character who maybe ultimately isn't that big of a deal. I don't remember. No, because a lot of her children go on to do important things, right? Because isn't... What's her butt in Skyrim supposed to be, like, rumored to be a daughter of Baron Zaya? What's her name? Carlia? From the Thieves' Guild, I think? I'm not sure. Citation needed on a lot of this. <laughs> Alright, tell me about Helseth. This new ruler, King Lalu Helseth, is trying to transform the role of King of Morrowind from a mere imperial figurehead into a powerful, personalized head of state. Athan Lethen, the previous king, was old and dignified, but few took him seriously. Helseth, by contrast, is dynamic and ambitious. 
Before Morrowind entered the Empire, the Dunmer had no kings, and many Dunmer prefer the old system of council rule. But Imperial partisans want a strong king along Western Imperial lines. All right, and then let's see here. How about... Hmm. We could ask about more of these folks, but maybe we should talk to someone else. Because frankly, F.T. Jeez, you're killing my throat. <laughs> All right. How about Royal Guard? What's up here, friend? Who's there? It's me! Maybe if you didn't wear such a weird-ass helmet, you'd be able to see me. There we go. Who's there? Wow, stealing here is going to be so easy! This is like the opposite of Cyrodiil! No one knows where I'm at! Oh, okay, he found me finally. <laughs> Just, like... <laughs> They can't see shit! All sorts of weird shit can go down here in Morrowind. Man, not that that would ever happen. Huh? <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see. Oh, look, he's... <laughs> fuck me. Alright, there we go. Let's see. Let's ask about... Latest rumors. If I liked you better, I might tell you. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Here, let's... Admire you a bit. They are very... Not into what I'm doing. Okay. Rumors. There have been a lot of thefts lately. High-class stuff. Not just petty burglary and pickpocketing. I think there's someone new in town. Someone ambitious. Someone really good. Okay. Mornhold. City of light. City of magic. There we go. About time we got one of those. Alright, shit. I guess maybe we should get out of here. These Justice dudes aren't too talkative. Let's admire him. Let's see. Maybe this dude will tell me something. Latest rumors. I thought Widow Zendis was going to have an estate sale to sell off some of that loot her late husband collected. She said she was going to sell off some things a while back, but I keep asking about it, and she says she's still got a lot to do. All right. Well, I mean, come on. <laughs> she's She's been widowed. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hurry, <laughs> like, the vultures are circling. Okay. Should we continue looking around here in the reception area? Maybe we should. Maybe we should be received. Right? Yeah, let's look around. Let's take a peek. Where did this dude even tell me that I should go and... S yeah, who should I speak with? Dark Brotherhood. Oh, shit. We should ask him about the Dark Brotherhood, shouldn't we? Here. Oh, shit, I can't. All right. Fuck. Yo. All right. Fuck it. You know what? FT, you've got me. Fine. We're, we're asking about Baron Zaya. She's the Queen Mother. Mother of King Lalu Helseth. She's also the widow of General Semachus, the great Dunmer hero, and a former queen in her own right, back in Wayrest. Many years ago, she abdicated her throne and retired from public life here with her son. Now that her son has become king, you might expect him to respect her counsel and experience. Or not. I pay no attention to my mother. Wow, F.T., come on. <laughs> All right, let's see, anything else here? Mournhold, I guess. Mornhold is the imperial capital of Morrowind, and the holy city of Almelexia, one of Morrowind's three living gods. Modern Mornhold is built upon the ruins of old Mornhold, which was destroyed by Mehrun's Dagon at the end of the First Era. Oh shit. I totally forgot about that shit. Yo, hook me up and yarn him. You can reach the... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can reach the abandoned passages of Old Mornhold through the sewers beneath Mornhold, and adventurers still seek lost treasures in the First Era ruins. Yeah, that's wild. That the, the capital city got built on top of that, and people still haven't, like, fully explored all of it? Yo... This is not just some some random ass town. This is the capital. What the fuck? All right. And anything else about Almalexia? Let's see. Is this new? Almalexia is one of the gods 
worshipped by the Dunmer in the Tribunal Temple. She's known as the Healing Mother and Lady of Mercy. Oh, no, wait, yeah, Protector of the Poor and Weak. Yeah, we heard that. Someone in particular... All right. Yeah, okay, we're fine for now. We're fine for now. You know what? We we did our best. You know what? I can't do it anymore. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit spot. All right. Who's here? Royal Guards. Helsus Chambers. Man, right at the reception. Goodness. <laughs> you teleport in. Just real easy to just get a direct audience with uh, very important folks. Legion Depot. Hmm. Oh, no. Let's see. Palace Throne Room. Goodness gracious. How in the world do we... Legion Depot. There's the courtyard again. And check on down here. There we are. Basement. No, nothing there, really. Okay. Fair enough. Should we check out the depot? Maybe. Let's see. What's in here? A lot of legionaries. Oh, man, yeah. Everybody's got new lines. There we go. Some Lorimar spy. By now. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, let's see. Magic item here. What have we got? Sweet pulp. Which I'm, I think does show up in future games, right? But perhaps in past ones it did as well. Lorimar spines. Ooh, shit, very good. Spell absorption. Okay. Restore health on the sweet pulp. Okay. A sweet barrel. A scrib cabbage. Man. Where have my scrib cabbages gone to? Where are my cabbages? What? Hey, where are my scrib cabbages? What the fuck? You've gathered two scrib cabbages. Yeah, and where are they at? Are they weapons? No. <laughs> Are they magic? No. What in the world? What the fuck is a scrib cabbage? Where is it gone? Where is my scrib cabbage? No! Oh, no! What the fuck? This shit is cursed! All right, golden sedge. Nothing useful. A golden sedge flower. There. What the fuck? Where are my scrib cabbages? Hang on, am I like getting encumbered by these hidden scrib cabbages? Let's see. We're at 534. We'll grab a few. 534. We're still at 534. Okay, we can't test with just that amount. And the Emperor's law. Good lord. All right, let's see. What do we have there? Sweet pulps, yeah. Sweet pulps. Don't mind me, man. I'm just, you know, picking all this stuff. <laughs> I'm from Vardenfell. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand how to do anything in <laughs> in public places. <laughs> all right, let's see. Boy, the Nerevarine sure is strange. He's just, just screaming about scrib cabbages. Let's see. We got any cabbages in here? Or are these old Vardenfell shipments? Yeah, I think these are. I think, is the, are these like shipped in from Vardenfell or something? They must be. This looks like Vardenfell shit. All right. Yeah, a bunch of ash yams and eggs. Must be. They gotta import them eggs. Emperor okay, guards, King do you have anything Justin. different to say here? Let's see, latest rumors. None of the tribunal have been seen in public in years. I know the strain of the war with Dagoth Ur has kept them busy, but what good is it having living gods if you never see them? Little advice. Don't get cocky. There's always someone tougher than you. Little secret? You're an adventurer, right? Then watch out if you go down in the sewers. That's the way to the ruins of Old Mournhold. Yes, and that's where an adventurer can make his fortune. But, the Black Dart Gang preys on adventurers down below. They look harmless like outcasts or beggars. You may think you're tough, you can handle anything, but not the Black Dart Gang. Right, and we got- we may have gotten hit by a Black Dart, right? Morrowind lore? 
Mournhold is built on the site of a much older city. You won't find any evidence above ground, but down in the sewers, you can find ways into the old ruins. All right, someone in particular. There we go. Let's see. Almalexia, Our Lady of Mercy, dwells in her temple. It's interesting to hear, like, the... Even the Imperial Guards here do show some level of respect to Almalexia, right? Which is... It's fascinating to even see them intertwined, right? Because, of course, there are no fucking Imperial Guards in Vivek, right? It's entirely the religious... <laughs> the, the, the religion cops. All right. Let's see. The fashion police, even. Almalexia, our Lady of Mercy, dwells in her temple. Her steward, Phaedrus Hler, and the Lord Archcanon Gavus Drin also reside in the temple. Oh, hey, another Archcanon. <laughs> Great. Let's see. King Lalu Helsith and his mother, Queen Baron Zaya, live in the royal palace. Tienius Delician is captain of the royal guard. It's a big city. And if there's someone else you want, ask around. Who is Phaedrus Hler? Hler is one of the folks in charge over at the temple. You can find him there. Gavis Drin? Gavis Drin! He's the head priest over at the temple. A powerful man. And has the ear of Almalexia. Helseth. The king. I imagine you'd find him in the royal palace. That's where kings usually are. How about Baron Zaya? A fine woman. We're lucky to have her back in Mournhold. I know that a lot has been written about her, but don't believe everything you've read. That woman's beauty is only equaled by her grace and wisdom. Shame she didn't pass that on to her son! Yo! What a thing to say! Fuck! <laughs> God, <laughs> not only was it like, like the first thing you say about this really important figure who is like very important to, to the local history and just like the, all of Tamriel's history, right? She's been through a lot of shit. Even if like half of it isn't true, holy shit, the half that's left is still fucking wild. She's like, oh yeah, she, she's hot. <laughs> what a babe. <laughs> But then also, too bad her son's ugly and dumb as hell. <laughs> All right. How about Tianius Delician? Or Delician. Captain Delician is often found in the throne room of the palace. He often confers with other members of the royal guard while there. And the royal guard. King Helsus' royal guard are an elite group chosen by the king himself. You'll find them in the royal palace. How about services? Yeah, let's just get the laydown of everything. You'll find the smith, Bowles in Dalen, at Craftsman Hall in God's Reach, along with several other fine craftsmen. There's a healer and an imperial altar in the royal palace. Oh, right. That must be where Divine Intervention sends you. Go to the temple for temple services. Otherwise, most craft, most trainers, crafters, and merchants are in the Great Bazaar. All right. How about the Great Bazaar? You'll find the Great Bazaar in the eastern section of town. We don't want any trouble there, so mind your manners. God's Reach? God's Reach is on the western side of the city. There are a number of manors there, owned by some of the more wealthy citizens. You'll also find the Craftsman Hall, which is a fine place to find armor and weapons. They'll even make them to order, provided you have the materials. You can check out the Winged Guar Tavern as well. Not a bad place for a drink, or if you need a place to stay for the night. You might check out the Museum of Artifacts as well. The curator is always trying to add to the collection. Yeah, which is... <laughs> What a wild thing. How do they even stay in business? I'm pretty sure they just have one item, right? All right. Let's see. Anything else about Imperials? No. No, fair enough. Let's see. Someone in particular? Yeah, we already asked that. Morrowind lore. We need to remember to also ask about Morrowind lore to all of them, right? Background and Imperial Guard. All right. Fair enough. 
Let's see. What other places can we get to from here? Guards quarters. Yeah. Emperor, King, and Justice, citizen. Let's see. Reception area. Reception area. Courtyard, courtyard. Shit, shit, shit. How Emperor, about we go King over back to the reception area? And should we check out the courtyard first before we go into like the throne room and all that? You know what? Maybe Justice we should. I was about to go into the throne room, but let's check out the courtyard. It is really something, if I remember. Let's see. Let's see how well it's holed up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> of course! Oh, of course! Oh, you fucker. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we are back. Fortunately, we saved right before we picked into this, so we do actually have a save in here. <laughs> or that means we did miss out on pretty much every bit of dialogue that we unlocked. But, eh, no big deal, because we will be talking to a lot of people about general hubbub going around and all that stuff, right? However, I thought, hey, you know what? This gives us an opportunity to test the scrib cabbage situation, right? Let's see how fucked we may or may not be with scrib cabbage. Let's see, scrib cabbage. Nope, that is a sweet roll. There we are. No? Where was it? Was it at the depot, then? It must have been. Yeah, let's check out the depot. Legion Depot. Thankfully, now that we're here in Mornhold, I think we should be able to say goodbye to a lot of our problems with crashing upon hitting load screens. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Scrib cabbage, baby. Let's see. So our weight is down to 532. Let's take all of them. There we are. 532 still. Huh. And we did get a fair amount, right? And it still does not show. Oh, wait. Are they actually Nerth fly stalks? Glory Is that what Scrib Emperor Cabbage has become? Yo, what? Hang on, let's do a quick load. I think we're learning something that Scrib Cabbage actually is Nerth fly. What the fuck? All right, I'm ready for it. Look, finally, we have, like, our tribunal load screens and stuff. Yeah, it is! What? Even though it says down there you've gathered one scrib cabbage. Oh, fuck. All right. Oh, I'm just going... All of that up. The yeah. And the Emperor's law. Yeah, that's right. This is my new Nerverine power. Just sucking shit up like crazy. All right. Now, the courtyard. <laughs> oh! It's beautiful! Yeah, it is beautiful. Look at this. Oh, all the, like, jade? Green, I think? Would you call this jade? I would probably call it jade, right? Even in the core game, it looks very nice. I remember explicitly getting a lot of frame drops in Mornhold <laughs> playing on the I'm original Xbox. Because, <laughs> of course, there is the added level of detail, and they try to, you know, gate everything off for performance problems, like New Vegas, like New Vegas itself in New Vegas, you know, how they gate different parts of the city for the sake of performance, I believe. Similar thing here in Mornhold, and there's, the, there's like four different districts, or five, I think, right? I suppose they do s similar for the Imperial City, right? Yeah, that would have been a more apt <laughs> ap comparison. But I think, I don't know, I, I think the that um, the Imperial City and Mornhold kind of hide the, the idea of it being, like, separated by the big doors and all that. Whereas with New Vegas, unfortunately, it, when you go there, you're like, oh, I was just expecting this to be one big open area, but no. <laughs> uh, what can you do? Games, it's a miracle that they even exist, right? Okay, let's see. Good Platinius Mero. Good oh for my all. god, look at his outfit. Good lord. Hello, what can I do for you? Tell me about Almalexia. Anything else? Ooh, yeah, here we go. This is some new stuff. Almalexia is a member of the Tribunal. She was the wife of Nerevar and one of his most trusted advisors. She resides here in Mournhold and is much loved by the people. Dark Brotherhood. The Dark Brotherhood have a long and interesting history, though a great deal of it still lies shrouded in mystery. 
What is certain is that they are deadly and remorseless. Steer clear of them at all costs. And this this is why it was so wild to me that you could even join the Dark Brotherhood in in Oblivion, right? Did did the Dark Brotherhood exist in any fashion in Daggerfall or any even any other games, Arena, Red Guard, stuff like that? Did they exist or did they purely come into being with this expansion? Huh. Surely not. Surely they existed in, like, Daggerfall or something, right? I mean, Daggerfall was enormous. Hmm. But nonetheless, it was so wild to me, because I only knew them as as villains, and like, yo, I killed a lot of you all. <laughs> all right, slavery. Tell me about slavery. Do you have any anything interesting to say here? Or is this... I think this is... Yeah, this is all similar stuff that we've heard before. Sothasil. Sothasil is one of the three god kings of Morrowind. While Vivek and Almalexia have traditionally been fairly visible to their followers, Sothasil has been more reclusive. He is known as a great mage and scholar, and is said to live in a clockwork city of his making. Wow, Sothasil, that sounds very suspicious. Ooh, doesn't sound like the actions of a good guy, not like... Vivek, or certainly Almalexia, the Lady of Mercy, out here in the open, you know? Just being friendly as hell, I'm sure. I'm so, sure. All right. Let's see. Calvus Horatius. All right. Memory test. Can I not hire this guy? Oh, my God. Let's see how much useless, just useless, unimportant garbage is still in my mind. <laughs> let's see. Oh, my God. It's him. This is... I fucking knew it! Holy shit! It is so stupid that I can remember that, but important shit, no, no, no. But that there is a guy wearing this sort of outfit in the lo in the like lobby area of Mornhold, that he's a hireling? <laughs> of course. Of course I remember that. <laughs> if you're looking for someone to watch your back, I'm available for hire. How about a rumor? What's the most dangerous thing in Mournhold, apart from Helsa's royal guards and the hands of Almalexia, which you've got no business fooling with anyway? I'd say the Black Dart Gang. I've had no experience with them personally, but from what I hear, they are really bad news. Oh shit, who's the Black Dart Gang? They're deadly. They look like harmless beggars and they hang out in the sewers waiting to ambush some careless adventurer struggling out of the ruins loaded with loot. They use darts, deadly poisons, enchantments. I don't know. Never heard of anything so evil. Really? <laughs> mm, I don't know. In a world where there's, like, legit-ass demons and stuff? <laughs> and, I mean, even, even if we want to dial it back from, like, Supernatural... The slavery? <laughs> if you see one, you better run fast. You better run fast and carry cure poison and dispel potions. All right. And let's see. How about advice? If you're looking for excitement and loot, try the sewers. <laughs> it's very deadly in down there. But if you're looking for some loot, why not try there? <laughs> <laughs> but they wait. Remember, they prey on people loaded with loot. Go get yourself some. <laughs> Try the sewers. The residential and temple sewers are two completely separate drainage systems. Use grates in God's Reach and the Great Bazaar to reach the residential sewers. And also in the Royal Palace. I've heard. Er, in the Royal Palace, I've heard. I don't know about the temple system. Probably in the temple itself. The poor and the lawless live under the city, Lyle. It's dangerous, but... <laughs> it's dangerous! There's poor people there! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> why did, Why you gotta group them? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's dangerous, but it's the only way to reach the ruins of Old Mornhold, where the real treasure lies. <gasps> the secret treasure at the heart of Old Mornhold little secret. Modern Mornhold is built upon the ruins of old Mornhold. Oh wait, haven't we heard this before? Yeah, adventurers still seek lost treasures in the first era rounds. Alright. 
Should we hire him now or later? I'm pretty sure we end up getting a, a quest that has us come back for this. Man, this is just going to be one huge, like, memory test. <laughs> All right. Sure. Available for hire. For 250 gold, I'll serve as bodyguard and companion for 30 days. I'm strong and I don't mind heavy loads. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm healthy and quick to heal. Heal me if you can. Keep me healthy and you'll get your money's worth. But I won't stand for any abuse. I work for profit. I've got my own gear and gold. If you ever leave me with less profit than my own gear and gold, then I quit immediately and never work for you again. Hmm. Now, maybe we'll come back when someone suggests that we get outside help or something. Yeah, I think so. Maybe some other time. You know where to find me. Alright. Cool, so here we are in Mornhold. Holy shit, it's exciting. It's, it's all contained within this city, right? When we go through these doors next time, next week, holy shit, we're in for a real treat. Though maybe we won't. Maybe we'll go see uh, Queen Barry. Oh my god, I would love to. <laughs> I named my sword after you! Well, not in this game. Right? It, it doesn't seem fitting to name name anything after her just yet. Right? Not until... Until we've had a run-in with her in... You know, in, in the appropriate timeline. Anyway, if you'd like to stick around, speaking of things that we should be doing, we are going to do a little bit of reading. And what are we reading this week? But, of course, how about... This? <laughs> How about Nuchinuk's Fire and Faith, a book we have seen a lot of. There there will be a lot of things on this list that we have seen a whole lot of, but apparently we have not read, right? Like, have we for real not read Ngasta Kavada Kavakis? Because it is on my list. It was not on my spreadsheet for whatever reason. We have seen so many copies of this, but I guess I had just always assumed that I'd read it? Weird. All right. Nonetheless, today, Nuchinok's Fire and Faith. There we are. How long is this? Oh shit, it's two pages. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Well, that's just how it is. Does does Tribunal add any new books? I think it does. It certainly adds like notes and stuff like that, right? I don't remember if it adds books. It must. It must. Right? All right. Nuchinox, Fire and Faith. This book is translated, is a translated account of Nuchinox travels among the various colonies of the Dwemer, explaining the theories of Kagranak. I made inquiry as to the state of enlightenment among the people he spoke for. He answered that, with respect to the theories of Kagranak, there was but one scholar near who could guide the people through the maze that leads to true misunderstanding. He informed me, however, that in Keraka, the precepts of Kagranak were taught. He said that nothing pleased him more than to see the Dwemer of Keraka, the most learned people in the world, studying Kagranak's words and giving consideration to their place in the life to come and where neither planar division nor the numeration of amnesia nor any other thing of utility was more valued than the understanding of self and its relationship to the heart. Where is Karaka at? I don't think... Do you ever go to Karaka, not just in Morrowind, but in any game? I don't remember Karaka. Unless... Is Karaka maybe what Dagoth Ur Citadel was originally named? And then old fucking Voron Dagoth shows up and <laughs> names it after himself? <laughs> maybe. Maybe that's it, especially with the mention of the heart capitalized. Anyway, I was gracious enough to receive this as a high compliment, and removing my helm, I thanked him and departed with an infinity of bows? Bows? I guess bows. Weird. Okay. Strange. A translated account of Nuchinok's travels among the various colonies of the Dwemer. Weird. 
disappointingly very short. It would have been so cool if there were more, right? I guess maybe they wanted to leave a lot of things with the Dwemer up in the air until they wanted to do more with them at some point, right? That's kind of, you know, a fun trick to do. It's a fun trick. Fun writing tricks. Leave some stuff open-ended if you know you're going to be making sequels later. <laughs> All right. Well, next we come back more of the City of Light, City of Magic. Until next time, please take care of each other. Bye.